Hi guys and welcome back to Corner Sharon. Really sorry I didn't post uh, any content last week. I've just been completely busy as I am moving. So anyone new to the channel, just a quick update. Um, I am moving back down to the West Country, to Cornwall, all the way from Portsmouth. And it's going to take around about three and a half hours. So you can imagine moving three tanks plus a pond down to the West Country for three and a half hours is going to be a bit of a task. So the three tanks I'm going to be moving down is, of course, going to be the 64 litre, which is my community tank, which you can see just here, and the 40 litre, which is a live breeder tank with guppies and platies, and my 20 litre beta tank. So the first bit we're going to talk about is the pond. Lucky enough for me, I'm not going to be moving the goldfish down because I currently have four shibunkins in the mini pond and they're going to go to a new home which I'm going to post, well probably going to do a video on that and I will post that so you guys can see exactly what happened to them. So in four days time we're actually going to go down to Cornwall like a week before the actual move so I'm going to dedicate a whole day to get all three tanks down, all the fish, filters and all the accessories in there like my live plants, my rocks and all that sort of stuff. So we're going to dedicate a whole day to get them all down stress free hopefully and or minimum stress as we can. A week before the actual move I'm taking the three and a half hour trek down to our new place where we'll be staying literally just to set up all the tanks and get them as comfy as I can and the good thing about this is um, we'll be living at my mum and stepdad's house for hopefully no longer than six months. But um, the good thing about that is my stepdad has kept tropical fish and other like koi carp and things like that for a good 25 years of experience to his belt. Um, so I'm really happy about that. I don't need to worry and be concerned about the fish why I've come back up to Portsmouth to carry on with the packing for the move. This is my plan for once I've got the fish all bagged up. This is my plan to put them in. So it's just a polystyrene box. I've gone to my local fish store, they've given me plenty of bags and big bags as well. Um, and here it is, here's the polystyrene box. If you can sort of see it. So hopefully all the fish will fit in here and this is going to keep in quite a bit of the heat as well. Um, once the lid goes on they go on quite securely, they just sort of interlock in and I will take them up and put them in a secure place in the car, minimum stress possible. And the other thing we've got for all the accessorizers with the filter, the plants, the rocks are going to go into this container. Which we're not cheap, it's actually still on here, you can get two of these for £14. And they're really handy for any sort of fish keeper to have, especially when you're moving them about. And this year is definitely going to do the trick for the filters, the rocks, the plants, etc. Please feel free to leave any comments below on any advice anybody else has ever had when they've relocated fish for quite a far distance. I wouldn't quite say three and a half hours is extraordinary distance, but it's still long enough, I think, for maybe the tanks to crash and all that kind of stuff. So thanks for watching the video guys, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like the video and hit that subscribe button and you can also find me on Facebook under Cornish Aaron and also on Instagram under Cornish Aaron.